Hey guys, so today, guess what your girl's doing? Making banana bread for you guys as a recipe. Why? Guys, I could have sworn I made this and I did not. I was watching a video with someone else on here and I realized that when I went to go find my link to share it with them, there was no banana bread because I never did it. And I make it so much, y'all know my revivers, I'm always making some form of bread, especially banana bread, banana pecan bread. So anyways, we're going to be making that today. I'm gonna not going to drag this along. We have our butter. Now, I'm going to tell you, everything is going to be in the description box. So I'm not going to tell you the amounts. It's all going to be in the description box. We have butter, brown sugar, white sugar, buttermilk, homemade DIY buttermilk. I did a video on it. We have baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg salt mashed bananas three cups of all-purpose flour we have three eggs some almond extract and vanilla extract when i tell you this is one of the moist breads moistest bread you will make and eat it is so so delicious and then i have about a cup of pecans that i kind of broke up with my hands so let's get started so in this big bowl you want to start off by adding your sugars and your stick and a half of butter Next, you're going to add your cinnamon to the bowl. Now it's time to add your mashed bananas. Next, it is time to get your hand mixer and mix, 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 mix. That's all, just mix that concoction very well. Now it's time to add your bacon soda. Next, you're going to put your eggs into the wet mixture and then blend that very well. Then you're going to grab your DIY buttermilk and you're going to add that to the wet mixture and you're going to blend that as well. Now, once you have done that, it's time for the flavoring. I like to add vanilla and almond. I'm telling you, if you have not tried almond in a lot of your sweets, it makes a big difference. And then let's move to the next step. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Now you can add your dry to your wet ingredients and then blend that once again. Once you have done all the blending, it is time to add your nutmeg and I'm gonna throw that in. And then it's only one more step until it's time to go in the pan, guys. So let's continue mixing and then go to the last step. Dun, 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 dun. It's time to add your nuts of choice. I am using pecans. And yeah, once again, we're gonna mix again, mix, mix, mix. But I'm going to be using a um, spoonula because I don't wanna blend it anymore. I'm just gonna fold the actual um, pecans in the batter and then I'm going to pop them in the oven. All right, so these are greased and I'm going to put the mix in and then they go into a heated oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. And the way you test them is sticking a toothpick in them to see if the toothpick comes out clean. That's if you don't know how to test it um, when it's done. That's the best way to do it, all right? So that's one, I'm gonna get this one full. Alright guys, so they are out and I'm going to let these cool for about as long as they need to. They're not going to be eaten until later. It's 5.53, almost 6 o'clock. So I put my food in the oven and yeah, these are nice and done. You want that little bit of look there because they're still hot and it's still going to kind of be baking even out the oven. But to put them on a warmer, it gives circulation around the bread. So that it can cool down and you don't want it to dry out because the longer that it sits it continues to kind of like i said cook because it's still really hot in the pan and that will actually become just like a moist bread so don't worry about it and if you're afraid and you don't know you can always stick like this in the middle and you want to see that it comes out clean with nothing on it all right 
right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna share I'll probably cut it open a little bit later and put it in the video